What? We have a common enemy. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. I got there it. Go. All right. <laughs> okay, hi. Um, I'm Courtney Beerman. I'm a senior at Millard South High School. No, no, no. no. And, and, um, and this poem is called Savior. Evenings in Ghana were spent on porches where children taught to love Jesus braided your hair into cornrows, the kind I admired when my hair was long and still envy a little. Practiced fingers played with shampooed strands in rhythm with insect song. Dirty nails painted with $8 polish, listening like their machetes when they walked home at night. You tell me Africa touched your heart. The words are familiar before they are spoken, doe eyes wide, smile big as the Sahara. You are sincere. We are in calculus, wishing the bell weren't about to ring. You neatly lace your fingers around an innocent coffee mug, steaming hot as a bullet. Cheeks rosy from dehydration. You smell like morning swim practice. Chlorine, clean with bath and body works interference, the kind I keep in my backpack. Sun darkened hands molded bricks in the morning packed into one of two molds at the front of a scavenged line, carried two-handed to dry under an unobstructed sun delicate. They left gravel trails like fairy tales, laid to rest upon the appropriate foundation of your labor, a women's shelter. You talk with your hands, and the rhinestones on your jeans rasp against the chair, words sweet enough for your coffee. I let them condense between us, collect for reuse, and later, con later conversations that is a routine I have mastered. After the work was done, slender legs carried bath water from a well, buckets balanced on heads in the typical fashion drink, bagged water delivered by truck to protect unaccustomed stomachs. Everyone suffered at least once. Souvenirs are a faded tan and scabby mosquito bites, false epiphanies, bracelets brought back for friends, one of which I wear. One week back, your hair carries strangers' questions. Their cornrows age quickly, loosen every time a hairbrush forgetfully tugs until frustration trumps vanity and fingers turn back time in front of a mirror, but stubborn ghosts of braids haunt your temples are exercised by a flat iron. Thousands of miles from an American flag, children worn fragments of nail polish, tiny puzzle pieces of a new experience lay before them in the dirt, but a new volunteer will soon arrive, bringing different colors. <laughs>